C++ pointer arithmetic. So also you can do arithmetic operations on pointer type of variables. So pointer holds an address which is a numeric value. Therefore, you can perform arithmetic operations on a pointer just as you can do this same operations on other numeric values. And we can apply say plus plus operator, we can apply minus minus, we can go for plus and minus. So these are the four arithmetic operations that can be used on pointers. So as pointers are containing memory locations addresses and these addresses are nothing but numeric values. So we can apply arithmetic operators to be operated on this pointer type of variables. But we can apply plus plus that is the increment operator minus minus that is the decrement operator plus and minus they are the nothing for but for addition and subtraction operations. So these four operators can be applied on a pointer type of variable. So let us go for one sample code for the better understanding. So here we have defined this max with the value 3 and it is const int. So we define one variable that is the array variable of type integer having got size 3 and this particular array has got also initialized with the respective values. So these are the values are there. So this value will be at the subscript 0, this value will be at the subscript 1 and it will be at the subscript 2. So now here we are having one pointer type of variable that is pointer ptr and this particular pointer is now pointing or has got initialized with the starting address of this array. So the starting address of this array has been assigned to this ptr. As this array is containing integer data, so the address which will be assigned onto the ptr, its content will be also of the type integer. So this particular assignment is highly legal. So now if I go for one i which is ranging from 0 to 2 because i is less than max, i is less than 3, so 0 to 2 it will vary and i plus plus we are going to print this var and then i we are going to print this i here so it will print the respective subscript value and then we shall print this ptr that is the address we are going to print here and then we are going to print this i again and now we are going to print the content of the ptr and each and every time within this for loop we are increasing this ptr by 1 by this plus plus so now we can find that here we are having this var of 0, so 0 is a subscript, this is the respective address, we are having var of 0, it is containing this 10 because the first data which was there in this 10 was 10. So now here you see at the subscript 0 the value is 10, at the subscript 1 the value is 100, at the subscript 2 the value is 200. Now this is the starting address of the array. This is, the, this is the address of the subscript 1 and this is the address of the subscript 2 and it is very interesting just note it we have done only ptr plus plus so ptr must be increased by 1 but here you see ptr has got increased by 4 so 30 has become 34 has become 38 and they have been represented in the hexadecimal notation so that is why 0x is the prefix for them. So now it is very interesting here is that. I increased ptr by 1 using ptr plus plus. I could have also used this one as plus plus ptr, it can work. We can also use this one as ptr is equal to ptr plus 1, that can also work. So now the thing is that, but it has got increased by 4 because the size of int is 4 bytes. So that is why when we are trying to increase this ptr by 1, it is getting increased by size of integer. So if I increase this ptr by 2, so ultimately it will get increased by 8. So in this way we have explained that how these arithmetic operators can be applied on the pointer type of variables. Thanks for watching this video.